Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. We are a little bit late. <laughs> Just a smidge. Because Jungle's album came out while we were all in Vegas. We didn't want to spoil it for ourselves, so we didn't listen to anything. We didn't watch anything. And we didn't get a chance to sit down and film. And then we got back from Vegas and we just didn't get a chance to film again for like two days. So it's been like five-ish days since this album came out. Me and Lydia have not heard or seen a single one of these songs whatsoever. Casey has heard People Part 2. Have you seen it? Yeah. Okay, Casey's seen and heard People Part 2. <laughs> Fun fact, we were at WeBridge and they started playing People Part 2 on the speakers and I put my headphones in and like blasted a different song and then Lydia was standing there like la la la, 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 la. <laughs> so we didn't hear it so we're gonna go in order of the album but for um for Hegum People Part 2 and Amygdala instead of doing like lyric videos we're just gonna react straight to the music videos since we haven't seen any of them except for People Part 2 with Casey okay okay so first song on the album is D-Day which is also the name of the album <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. So true. I love when he sings his auto tune. Oh my god, if he does this song on tour, which he probably will because like DJ, it's gonna sound so cool to like. This is strong in the trailer. Uh -huh. I just love that part. Like that just makes you so hyped for like what's to come. Yeah. Okay. I was like, why do we feel The lyrics were really good. He's Girl, like, I'm about the present. To I was like, lost my anxiety. Today. She's the past the is gone. Oh, the future is far away. Like, okay, <laughs> king. Next is Hegum, which is the title track, and it has a music video. Oh, oh let's go. If I squeeze you, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> she didn't even ask for me. She didn't. She said, like, I don't want you, but I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I'm nervous. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm sweating. Okay. It's warm in here. <laughs> this happened. He, I saw him uh, talk about it today on Be Life, and he said, I mm -hmm. specifically said there has to be seven. Seven. Yeah. Apparently, this is in Thailand. It is. Oh. <laughs> Stop. It keeps cool. falling in my face. No, 
No, he's literally a mob boss. Stop. Ew! Sorry. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Did he just kill him with a pair of chopsticks? Oh. Oh my god, the scar! So one's a cop and one's a thug this time? I think so. <laughs> this song simply broke free and was forbidden. Right. <laughs> And I'm bored now. Right. Oh, he's so sexy. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Opinion split based on which to gain, so true. Oh my um, god. Wow. Hello? You know he was carrying the jacket. He's riding in the back of a police car after he just killed what a detective or a police officer, and then he got out of the car with the jacket in his hand, swung it over his shoulder, and had noodles with the same chopsticks that with he the same chopsticks. In the beginning, to kill. The, the metaphors, y'all. That like, that chopstick scene really threw me off. I was <laughs> not expecting that. Me neither. The lyrics are very yingy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next is huh. Featuring Hobie. Oh, let's go. Oh, wait, this is this is oh. this is dark sided because Hobie can't be here. I'm not gonna sit here to the yak, but you're back. I'm not gonna sit here to the yak, but you're back. I'm not gonna sit here to the yak, but you're back. 
So true, tell them. Oh, you can talk your shit. <laughs> he's saying get a life. And he's saying reality outside the internet is very different than your perception. He ain't lying. So true, everyone on the internet lacks any critical thinking skills in real life. It's unfortunate. Oh my god, I'm so excited to hear this. Version of it. The fact that he, this is a song that he did with Toby. I know. The volume. Okay. Well, didn't he say on his radio thingy that? he didn't trust anybody else but Hobie to do this song. So true. Like, he thought, tried to think of other people, but at the end of the day, he was like, I have to do it with Hobie. I can't do it with anybody else. Dang, I didn't even see that. Yeah. He, and now I, now he, I know he why. He talks about it on Weave Life today. And Weave Life. On Weave Verse Life today. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Well, that was fire. <laughs> that was fire. Damn. Okay, well, next is Amygdala, so I think this is going to be a bit of a different approach because oh. from everything I've heard, this song is, like, really emotional. The lyrics are really emotional. Apparently, I'm really starting to cry. The video is really emotional. It has a trigger warning. A so <laughs> anyone who's watching, I don't know what's in this video, but it has a trigger warning. So like trigger warning to whatever this is going to be. I'm triggered. Oh, oh God. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. As soon as I clicked on it, um, trigger warning, everybody. It says yep. viewer discretion is advised. The following content may contain suicide oh, or self-harm topics. Uh, you have to confirm. And then it says this content may be inappropriate for some users. Do you wish to continue? So I need everyone to know that... We're about to watch this, so if you can't handle watching this video, skip this part. Okay.
Oh my god, I know that feeling you need. That's definitely my favorite so far. Mine too. Okay, I don't need that much. <laughs> well, <laughs> my God. <laughs> While we're filming this, you know, a lot of things have happened in the past week in the K-pop industry. So we're already a little bit emotional when it comes to topics like this because of circumstances. So this is a lot to um, to watch, and then. I had um, heard um, about the fact that he mentions that his dad has a, I don't know if he has or had cancer, but I literally found out this morning that my grandpa has cancer. So this is a lot to, uh, to take in in a video, but that was definitely my favorite one so far. My favorite song and the video is amazing. I don't even know how like, he was able to put that emotion in into the song. I feel like even without the translations, I would have been able to feel like all of that he was like experiencing just from the music alone. Okay, we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> next song is um, <clears throat> SDL. Ready? Yes. <laughs> That's actually such a good quote, like, do I miss you or do I miss the memories that I had with you? Mm -hmm. 
introspective person. Oh, she sounds so pretty. She does. That was really pretty. That was mm. really, really, really pretty. That Having was... this right after amygdala. I was... know. I was just thinking I the think same that's thing. a good way to like yeah. Yeah. decompress yeah. and like calm down. Yeah. yeah. Well, next is People Part 2. Um, featuring IU, which has a music video, so we will wa be watching a music video. Again, reminder, Casey's already seen and heard this, so this is only going to be the first time for me and Lydia. Looks so good. Did you say he looks so good? Yeah. This is Ooh. like, it's giving husband. Oh! oh! Okay, okay. Okay, let's watch. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, I forgot. Oh, that's a great shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't expect the song to 
and so oh, lovely. So like looking at the lyrics and like knowing that he's talking to himself. <sighs> oh, that was really good. That was really good. The lyrics to that one was like. Mm. Next is Polar, Polar Night. It's a bright photo. Song. That's my second favorite. Um, that reminds me so much of Strange. The lyrics yeah. are so similar to the things they were talking about in Strange. Okay, next one is Interlude Dawn. Alright. The picture? Mm hmm. That sounds so pretty. Mm. All right, I can't wait to hear that in the car. Uh. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. Sounds like a movie score. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a pivotal moment mm -hmm. in this guy's like movie where he's just like getting ready to make some drastic. <laughs> like, I, I'm filming it in my head. Music wise, like just music, this is my favorite one so far. Oh, that was it. Oh, I wish it was longer. Uh, two more. Next one is oh, Snooze. Oh my god, let's Go song oh featuring uh, oh sh my gosh. Sh hold on featuring Sir Wu Song from, the, from Rose. the Rose and then also I'm not gonna butcher this man's name. Rest in peace though because I know he he just recently passed away. Oh wow! So oh, I'm so excited. 
나를 보며 꿈을 꾸고 있는 당신의 등 뒤에 항상 내가 있으니 너무 걱정은 말아 추락이 두렵다면 기꺼이 받아줄게 그러니 나처럼 괴로워하지 마라 꿈을 위해서 쭉 잠을 자는 그대 쉬어도 돼 오늘만큼은 꿈조차도 꾸지 마라 당신이 말없이 어떤 미소를 내게 띄워줄 때 그제서야 비로소 마음이 조금 놀라 많이 힘들 수도 있어 내가 걸어왔던 이 길이 꽃길 감춰도 있지만 당신들의 꿈들이 꿈들로만 남지 않게 언제 어디서도 나 당신들을 모르지 <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, it sounds so beautiful. Oh my god, what's up? I'm gonna start crying again, no, guys given too much <laughs> oh my god I, the the, the repetition right? of yeah when he says rest you don't even have to dream no when he says the only reason you basically go to sleep is to have a dream uh, me too <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> oh my god when he said your success becomes your shackle and your leash oh my guy you know what? I'll just we have one more song left. I'll talk about all this at the end. It's called Life Goes On. I'm terrified. Oh, God. <laughs> uh this is the one that I was like Is it like Is it Life Goes On or is it I don't know. So we'll see. Based off the whole album? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Last one. Like that's his lyrics in Life Goes On, the <laughs> actual song. Yeah. Stop what? it. 
Emotions, like so many different emotions throughout the entirety of the album, and then the last one is just like it was like the final tableau. Yeah, that was really good. I did not expect to cry as many times as I did. It starts so like hard, and then, and then it just yeah. Oh, I was like, why do I feel like I went through all five stages of grief for real? All five of them. Yeah. I, I have said this before, and I will say it till the day I die. <clears throat> Yungi is the best emotional lyricist there is like he knows exactly what to say and how to say it to pull like every emotion he needs out of you he's very um is introspective the right word like he's very self-aware he is very self-aware like he's very aware of his own emotions and like what he's thinking and what he's feeling and he's aware when he's not okay Mm -hmm. And he knows how to write it in a way that like conveys that. Yeah. That like, I know I'm not okay. And I know in this moment of time I need help. But I know that I'll overcome it. Like, But he's also good at like making it so that people who are also feeling the same way yeah. feel it too. Yeah. He's just, he's literally one of the best lyricists. Um, yeah. Not in K-pop, in the world. Yeah. And it makes me very, very sad that so many people write off the rappers of BTS just because they're like in a boy group. Yeah. When if anyone ever sat down and just listened to these songs and yeah. read these lyrics, like there's so many different things that you can either relate to or take from or just like enjoy. And it just makes me sad that people are so close-minded when he puts out such personal art like this yeah mm -hmm. like yeah because any artist can just like make a song that you can relate to by just literally saying like my boyfriend broke up with me yeah this is how i feel literally like yungi does it in like such a poetic way that it's like it mm -hmm. caters to the individual but it also caters to like Anyone. everyone as a whole yeah mm -hmm. and so it's like he's a it's very poetic it's, deep. it's good yeah and there's so many like just one lines that like stick when you're like mm -hmm. like like i'm still thinking about the one lyric where it was like even selflessness selflessness i can't speak english even selflessness is it's selfish it's good he is unreal as an artist and as a lyricist and as a yeah. producer so true i cannot believe we're getting this live i know in I like two weeks i'm so thankful i'm like, so excited i was like i didn't know i was gonna be crying during this concert but I will be. I'm so, that actually is so true because like he has so, 
<laughs> so many other songs that are just like yeah. how you know what I mean so like it's gonna be interesting to see how like how what his set list it? is gonna be yeah yes, the set list. yeah I I'm gonna assume he's gonna open very hard I think so too. yes I think <gasps> okay sorry I don't think he'll close very hard no he's gonna make us go through yeah yeah like just a roll I'm also hoping praying that you know who song is from LA stop don't say that don't say that don't say that you know, don't say that. Three LA shows. Let's not Snooze get is my favorite crazy. song on this album. Like, my word. I would personally love if Sir <laughs> Usung just happened to show up and perform this song with him. Come on, Sammy. Yeah. Bye. But yeah, um, that was incredible. Thank you for watching. Let us know which song is your favorite. Let us know if any of the songs made you weep like us over here. Yeah. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching us cry. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.